Emails obtained and now released by the House Oversight and Reform Committee revealed that Donald Trump and his close ally at the time, Chief of Staff Mark Meadows, attempted to get the U.S. Department of Justice to buy into Donald Trump's fantasies about the election somehow being stolen from him. Furthermore, based on the timeline, it appears that Donald Trump may have tried to butter up these officials at the DOJ with promotions. Here's what happened. This is the chain of events that took place. Donald Trump sent an email. Actually, it wasn't from Donald Trump, but the subject line said from POTUS sent by Mark Meadows, I believe. And the email asked the DOJ to look into what they claim to be credible instances of voter fraud in the state of Michigan. Then, and this is according to the Hill, let me just read this. Approximately 40 minutes before Trump tweeted that Barr would be stepping down and then Deputy Attorney General Jeffrey Rosen and then Principal Associate Deputy Attorney General Richard Donahue would be promoted. His White House assistant sent Rosen an email with the subject from POTUS, which contained materials alleging voter fraud in Antrim County, Michigan. The email also included talking points that claimed, quote, a cover-up is happening regarding the voting machines in Michigan and, quote, Michigan cannot certify for Biden. So... 40 minutes before he announced that, Hey, these guys are getting promotions. He sent those two individuals, this email or his white house sent the email saying, Hey, we need you to do this for us. It continues. Uh, Trump then sent, uh, uh, the same documents to Donahue. According to the committee, the documents also revealed that Trump used official white house channels and a private attorney to urge the DOJ to file a lawsuit in the Supreme court that asked the court to declare that the electoral college vote in six States Trump lost cannot be counted and a request and request a special election to vote for president. So he literally asked the DOJ to intervene with help of the Supreme court of which three of those nine justices, 33% of the justices on there were put there by Donald Trump himself, asking them to quite literally overturn the election and hold a new one. It doesn't get any more clearer than that folks. The former president of the United States tried to use his authority, tried to bully the DOJ essentially into overturning the 2020 presidential election. This cannot stand. And I know we've only known this information for what, maybe 24 hours at this point, depending on when you're watching this. Um, we have to have a full fledged investigation on this. We have to know what happened. If anyone at the DOJ actually took action, took this seriously, but this cannot stand. Donald Trump abused his power repeatedly over the four years that he was serving as president of the United States. And at some point there has to be some kind of accountability for what he did. Otherwise, none of this matters. If there are not investigations that result in charges against this man for gross abuses of power, then none of this matters. None of these stories matter. And that's why this gets so frustrating sometimes. Because obviously in this line of work, in the progressive media, we have spent five years talking about the atrocities of the Trump administration, among many other things as well, but there's been no accountability. Yeah. The dude got impeached twice. He also got acquitted twice in spite of all the evidence showing that this man did what he had been accused of doing. Now we have another one. In addition to, of course, using the DOJ itself to investigate his political enemies, both in the white house and in Congress. Oh, and of course in the press as well, we have to have answers and we have to have some prosecutions here. Otherwise, as I said, all of this means absolutely nothing. Mm -hmm.